Be it through selective breeding or cloning a la Jurassic Park, it is possible to make animals go de-extinct. Now, some people have moral objections to this, saying we should apply our efforts to conservation, but there are actually some species of animals that are currently extinct that we are totally able to bring back through science. Let's look at the first one of seven, the auroch. Oh, well, that's a skeleton because they were extinct, extinct in 1627 <laughs> yeah. before we had photograph technology. Right. So they were a wild form of cattle found throughout Europe and Asia and an ancestor to moder modern cows. The way they like to bring this cow back is uh, to use the DNA from bones and teeth and find existing descendants of the auric uh, cattle in Europe right. that still carry those genes and breed them together. Um, and use that cow as a surrogate. Yes, do that, but then with the, the spawn, continue to make uh, selective breeding, yeah. favoring those animals. Okay, I, I thought it was interesting. I didn't know aurochs were real. You um, thought it was the Pesaid aurochs, Waka's team in Final Fantasy X. No, I thought it was those <laughs> giant <laughs> fucking pigs from Beasts of the Southern Wild, right. Oscar-nominated film. That is also yeah. called Which was, they were sweet as shit, and unfortunately those aren't real. This is know. not the first attempt to clone the auroch back into existence. It was also done by the Nazis. Ooh. Okay, let's move on to their, our next animal, the Irish elk. So these things were hunted near to extinction um, because of their gigantic rack. You know, yeah, uh, just like ladies. <laughs> and um, they're, <laughs> Sorry. they're using kind of the same technology that they're, uh, you know, going through here. They, they, they have reasonable DNA samples that they feel like can be cloned and then made into an embryo that they can then put into a surrogate that is from a descendant of the Irish elk. Cool. So anyway, pretty amazing. But why, you know, I have to just throw this out here real quick. We put these things into extinction, right? So I feel like maybe there's some reason for us retribution. to... Retribution. Well, guilt, human early guilt. Early humans. Early so, humans. So, like, you know, not really us. <laughs> Some, some of these are kind of. Some of these are us. Some of these, some of these are, are really us. new. Like, Including Stellar Sea Cow. Yes. Let's look, look. Oh, that poor thing. Right. That one should be brought back. It's pretty awesome. And look, look at how friendly it is. It just wants to bump up to the boat and love you. Well, you see, know? the problem is the Stellar Sea Cow is a poorly coordinated relative to the manatee. <laughs> uh, fur traders and sailors took advantage of its <laughs> poor such coordination. Dexterity. <laughs> right. Even so worse than a manatee, which get in the way of many boats. Right. So, and apparently their meat was very delicious. So it's easy to get, tastes good, extinct. Extinct. And they're pulling this one out because they have bones that are washing up onto the beach, so they're still finding really good samples of marrow. And that's what they're doing. They're not pulling this from the bone, they're pulling it from marrow, mm -hmm. you know? So what's the next one? Passenger pigeon. Apparently they were pretty dumb and easy to catch. Well, that's so. a branding issue. Well, there it is. I was gonna say. That's the last passenger pigeon, I believe. They were, they were dumb, so they died, mm -hmm. right? We this continue. This draws us into Darwinism. Should, uh, should they be dead? But let's move on to the Perinian ibex. Oh, Ibex. I heard that they actually got this one so close. They tried. There was, yes. a, there was they, one actually they, born. They, this they, animal they, has the distinction died. of being the only one to go extinct twice. Right. Thanks to us. We should bring back, in every right, because we totally screwed up on this one, is the Tasmanian tiger. It was in captivity. The last one died in captivity, like 1917. We had the ability to reintroduce it back into um, back into its native environment, uh, and, but we didn't. We just we kept did. it in captivity, yeah. you know? Because so it was cool. It looked really cool. Yeah. They look awesome. So. Is that why people hunted them? Yeah, they hunted them for their pelts. Because they're so beautiful? Yeah, because they're a beautiful looking tiger, and then they put them all in zoos. I wonder if it's an evolutionary advantage these days to be ugly. Hmm. Because you don't get hunted into extinction. To be rough and ugly and dirty and... Nobody hunts you for anything. It certainly doesn't help the black rhino. No, it didn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> lastly, number seven, we have the woolly mammoth. What people don't know is how close scientists are to cloning this animal. So, because the quality of the samples is so high, and there are uh, quite a few potential surrogates, a, a Japanese-based research fir firm said they can do it by 2016. Mm, that is soon. So, well, it'd be pretty fun. I don't know how much of it's going to look like that. It'll different. probably look somewhat like that because those are educated guesses. That's, it's still it's still a gigantic land animal. So. We'll probably have to start small right. and clone like teacup mammoths, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get to the giant <laughs> eventually. We're going to start Ooh. with a snuffleupagus, <laughs> and we're going to work our way up. Right. What do you think of reversing the extinction process for animals? Is it great? Should we repent for our sins against animals, or is it really the wrong thing? Science and technology are great, but is it being used in the right or wrong way. Let us know your opinions on that below and please be sure to subscribe.